three. Bobby Ray Hall, the 1992 IndyCar champion, raced in Europe in Formula 2 in 1979 before moving into IndyCars in 1982. He won his first PPG IndyCar championship in 1986 and successfully defended his title in 1987. In 1992, he formed his own team with Carl Hogan and became the first owner-driver to win the championship since A.J. Foyt in 1975. Brazilian Emerson Fittipaldi won the Formula One World Drivers' Championship in 1972 and 1974. He retired from racing in 1980, but returned four years later to race Indy cars. In 1989, he won the Indianapolis 500 on the way to becoming the first foreign driver ever to win the Indy car title. In 1993, Fittipaldi will lead the challenge of the Penske team. Mario Andretti is one of motor racing's all-time great drivers. In a 30-year career, Andretti has won the Formula One World Drivers title and four IndyCar championships. Mario's record of 51 IndyCar race wins puts him second only to A.J. Foyt in the all-time standings. In 1980, Andretti and Mansell were briefly teammates in the Lotus Grand Prix team. The partnership is renewed for 1993. Al Unser Jr. is the son of four times Indianapolis 500 winner and multiple IndyCar champion Al Unser Sr. and racing is in his blood. In 1990, Jr. won his first championship and in 1992 he became the third member of the Unser family to win the Indianapolis 500. In 1993, he continues with Rick Galley's team. Paul Tracy is one of the new generation of drivers likely to make his mark in 1993. Just 25 years old, the Canadian was signed up by the Penske team, but broke a leg in an accident at Michigan in his first race for the team. Recovered for 1992, he deputised for the injured Rick Mears during the second half of the season. Mears' retirement has given Tracy a great opportunity to prove himself in 1993. Scott Goodyear, another Canadian charger, was the discovery of 1992. Although he moved into IndyCars in 1987, it wasn't until 1992, after a move to a competitive team, that Goodyear began to show his worth. He finished second to Al Unser Jr. in the closest finish ever at Indianapolis. The winning margin less than five one hundredths of a second. He's a man to watch this year. Danny Sullivan raced in England in the 1970s and drove for the Tyrrell Formula One team in 1983. In 1985, he became the first driver to win the Indianapolis 500 after spinning. And three years later, driving for Penske, he won his first IndyCar title. In 1993, Danny will partner Al Unser Jr. in the Galleys team. <laughs>